you are a beginner that is in the process of teaching yourself how to sew or you are about to start teaching yourself how to sew but then you are confused about where to start how to start how to organize the whole thing so that you're not here and there then this video is for you you may want to keep watching this video because in this video i am going to give you a detailed fashion course outline for beginners especially those that want to teach themselves how to sew and are not necessarily in any fashion school currently so if it's something you're interested in then you want to keep watching this video and don't go anywhere hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if this is your first time clicking on any of my videos welcome 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 <laughs> My name is Lola Lola Shisi and this is my channel Everything Lola where I talk about fashion, lifestyle and everything in between. I also help fashion designers like me, especially beginners with tips and tricks that will help them navigate their way through this fashion journey and make it smoother and better than my own was. So I also have a sewing channel for those that want to learn how to draft patterns, cut and sew. The channel, if you scroll down the homepage of this channel, you'll see my sewing channel. The name is Lola Olua Shisi so you can join that family too. So the main purpose of this video is to tell you or give you like a detailed plan or a detailed course outline for beginners that want to learn how to sew or the ones that have already started and are confused because their brain is just here and there this video is I'm, I'm making this video on a request or on some requests i got um from beginner fashion designers so if you're interested you want to watch the video and also if you have a request on video your video may just be the next one i would make so i take requests on video you can send to my dm on instagram or you can just drop it in the comment section of any video you see and i'll look into it and create a video on it now let's get into the reason why we are here before we start with the course outline so i made this like uh, say course outline let me say detailed course outline but since it's just for the beginning you know when you start sewing there's the beginning stage which i call the beginners obviously then there's the intermediate stage this is how after you have learned the basics you enter another stage where you start chesting bigger things and then after the beginnings after the um, intermediate stage you now enter the advanced stage so advanced is you already know it but you just want to get better learn other techniques and basically stand stronger in the whole fashion so anything so what i have here with me is just beginner's course outline if you want something more then you can just let me know but before i start listening to what i have here um there's something i just want to say if you are teaching yourself how to sew you are learning how to sew on your own i would assume you should know that the dedication you would put or you would work twice as hard as if you were going to a fashion school so now the difference is that if you're going to a fashion school you'll literally be handed all this information and these teachings on the platter of gold because i mean you paid for it and that's why you are here or that's why you are there but if you are going to be learning on your own you need to put in twice as much work as those people that go to fashion school because your owner is not on the planner. You have to work for this information. Thank God for so many YouTube videos now that help people with this information for free. But yeah, what I just wanted to know is that you need to work twice as hard as every other person that is going to fashion school. And also, I want you to understand that it is a process it is step by step don't jump from the beginning and try to learn something that even the advanced class students have not even started learning nobody is saying you should not be like push your limit when i started learning, i pushed my limit it did me a lot of good and it also did me bad because there were now some basics that i skipped i jumped because i did not follow due process so i'll just advise that you follow your process so that when you get um just imagine you get to the stage where you know how to make corsets so well but then you are lost for one simple neckline you don't even know how to do a round neckline well it's maybe nice that you can make that corset but it doesn't really make sense that you skip the basics so make sure you just follow the process the process you don't have to rush it the process can be slow and steady different people have different learning process different um learning span so don't say your friend learned with two weeks you want to learn with two weeks and rush and then you end up scattering everything in your brain so just follow the process study yourself know the time limits know what you can take and then work with that so let's get into the course outline so for someone that is learning how to sew yourself or you are just starting i would advise that before you pick up your scissors i've said it in my previous video before you pick up your scissors your paper or your material to cut you want to try and use at least two three weeks one month to give yourself like a pre-sewing class this is something i skipped and i regretted it a bit so anybody starting now advise you to give yourself a pre-sewing class so what is in a pre-sewing class what does a pre-sewing class entail in a pre-sewing class you would is like the theoretical part of sewing 
that's why it's called pre-sewing <laughs> like the theoretical part of sewing so in a pre-sewing class you would have to learn what fashion designing is all about first you already know why you want to learn you want to you know if you're learning for commercial purposes you know if you're learning for yourself or whichever reason you want to learn as a hobby anything but you need to know what fashion designing is all about from the sewing to the term and everything like that then under the pre-sewing class you want to get familiar with fashion terms like hemming and um, hem gum i don't know fashion terms sha, all these terms that when you hear it you'll be like you know it's a fashion term you just want to go online browse different fashion terms and learn as many as you can learn so that when you start when you start watching videos or hear people talking about this thing they don't sound alien to you next thing you want to do is get familiar with colors and fabrics now please before i continue let me post and say this i'm giving this outline it is based on what i created it is based on what i feel like would be easy and better for anybody learning i'm not saying you have to follow this or this is the only course outline if not you won't learn don't get me wrong but this is just me dishing out advice and if you'd love to take it then that would be nice now you need to get familiar with colors and fabrics for colors if you knew roy beef red orange green yellow violet is good the normal colors you should know that when you enter version there it is way more than that there is turquoise blue there is sea green there is teal green there is aqua green like there are so many colors that ordinarily if you were not into fashion you wouldn't even hear about the color so you want to start looking at those colors just browse fashion colors browse every single color you can think so that your eyes can just be um custom to these different colors and then for fabrics too don't wait till you start sewing and you start you can as you sew you can know all the fabrics i'm not going to lie but as you sew you would learn more but don't wait till you start sewing before you start asking is this lining and things like that ask questions um if you have somebody you can go to the market ask anybody that's why they are fashion communities you see i'm always hammering on fashion communities in my videos join fashion communities ask questions find somebody to tag along with to go to market so you can know different kinds of fabrics as well as different kinds of colors next thing you want to focus on is getting familiar with fashion tools just like you're getting familiar with colors and fabrics get familiar with fashion tools get familiar with what a, what a sewing scissors looks like what a tape looks like get familiar with some kind of machines you don't even have to see them physically you can check these things online get familiar with tools what a seam ripper is what a tape rule is what different tools you can think of just browse fashion tools and then we and there are so many they would come out for you to see now the next thing is you want to like i said get familiar with machines the kind of machine i usually advise for beginners is either a small tabletop sewing uh, machine an electric machine or the normal manual machine whichever one it's easier to use the electric machine it's quite easier than the manual machine but whichever one you can lay your hand off or you can afford you want to get accustomed to that machine now the next thing this one now it sounds very unserious but it is actually more serious than you think so the next thing i would advise is that you want to watch a few sewing movies movies that are that concerns fashion anything fashion movies basically there are so many recommendations here on youtube and in different places you can just check them out just watch a few of them and just for the fun of it and to know what you're getting into now after you're done with your pre-sewing class this should take at least two three one two three weeks or one month or more depends on your learning phase but since this is theoretical i don't think you should use more than one month for this pre-sewing phase or for this pre-sewing class so the next part you want to enter after you're done with your pre-sewing class is the actual sewing class this is where you now learn how to cut and sew and i usually advise that when you are learning how to sew right now fashion has evolved so much that it's beyond just using freehand nobody is saying you shouldn't use freehand it's good to learn freehand because it will help you in cases i think when i went to nyc camp i didn't have papers and anywhere to cut i used freehand to make like the dresses we're going to wear for our presentation so you can learn with freehand but i also advise that you learn pattern drafting side by side from the beginning so it won't sound like it won't be hard because once you learn how to sew with freehand eh, before you get interested in learning patterns like what do i need it for so from beginning just try to learn um it side by side with each other so you want to start with how to trade your sewing machine and just know about any kind of machine you get now time frame and everybody does not have the same time frame for learning everybody does not have the same speed don't just waste too much time but take your time to learn your your own on your own pace since you're the one teaching yourself so you want to start with so let me just say first two weeks you want to start with how to use your machine and how to thread your machine then you want to go into how to draft cut and sew a basic bodies basic bodies i think i have that tutorial on my channel just the basic body so from here to your hip that's what is called the basic bodies you want to learn how to draft the basic bodies you want to learn how to cut it you want to learn how to sew it and then you want to practice how to do like different necklines that is what it is like for the upper part then you now go into how to draft your 
basic skirts how to cut and how to sew your basic skirt and then you can practice different types of skirts this is like for the first one month don't pressure yourself just do it at your own pace now the next thing you want to go into is now how to sew a basic dress so you have learned the upper part of the dress you have learned how to do a skirt now you have to learn how to join this upper part to the lower part to make it into a dress after that next thing you now want to focus on is how to cut and sew a basic sleeve how to draft cut and sew a basic sleeve something like this this is a basic sleeve but this is a short sleeve so from here to your um, wrist is what a basic sleeve, sleeve looks like you want to learn how to draft cut and sew a basic sleeve and you also want to like practice different types of sleeve while you're at it now the following month you want to now focus on how to draft cut and sew a basic short that's a knicker the short form now leave the trouser first the short form once you have practiced how to draft cut and sew a basic short you now want to practice different shorts there's the flare short there's the tight short there's the wide leg short just Put your hand around it and just practice it's you it's you're in your learning stage you have the right to make as many mistakes as you want and learn from them after that the next thing you now want to focus on is how to cut how to draft cut and sew a basic pant and then after that you can now graduate into learning how to make a jumpsuit so you have learned how to make a basic bodies you have learned how to make a short and a pant you can now learn how to combine that short and um the top the basic top into a jumpsuit so while you are doing this this like this is like a major sewing things i feel like beginners should learn before you get into your intermediate stage but while you are doing this i would advise to learn fashion illustration alongside with it and fashion business depending on why you are sewing if it's for commercial purposes then the earlier the better i advise you to learn fashion business and then a little bit of content creation you don't have to like learn it so much just a little bit of content creation so you can just take us through your journey of teaching yourself how to sew. just imagine you create a series where you are teaching yourself how to sew and you're showing us and we are seeing your progress we are seeing you progressing and get better it will be so beautiful and you can get so many clients when you start because they saw your beginning process and they would trust you so that is it for now if you have any questions you can let me know i wasn't hoping to make this video too long that's what you need to learn and what you need to know as a beginner if you already have what you're doing that's working for you you can stick with that but if you don't you may want to try this before you get into your intermediate state before you think of how to start making corsets and so many other styles like that so if this video was helpful you found the video helpful don't forget to share this video to any other person you think it may be helpful to give this video a big thumbs up because it's going to help my video gets recommended to other people and then you want to hit that subscribe button and drop a lovely comment you can ask questions and you can also request for videos your video your request may just be the next video you see on my channel so yeah that is it for this video see you in my next video until then keep winning